Hello, hello. Hi. How are you all doing? It's Karen and Alex live on YouTube. It is Wednesday, March 3rd, 2021. So just so you know, this is a live. You can chat with us. We would be more than happy to have you chat with us. Alex is getting it all set up. Um, you know, while we have a minute, if you haven't, could you please go and subscribe to my channel? I'm trying to get viewers <laughs> and it just seems like I'm stuck. So if you like any of the cards that you see and you want to be notified anytime that I go live, I sure would appreciate you going and subscribing and then ring that notifications bell so that every time I do go live or put up a video, you get notified. Okay, so I also wanted to tell you I'm starting a four part series um, on sponging with the blends. I love these things. Blender brushes. Blender, oh, I said blends. Blender brushes. I love mm -hmm. these things. So I want to switch you down real quick. And I want you to note that they are on page 70 in the catalog okay and you get three of them in one purchase okay which for $12 I think that's really a good deal and they work so well they I just really love do. them and so I have them marked like I have purples I have browns I have blues I have uh, yellows, reds, and greens. But I think I need a few more. <laughs> Just saying. Mm -hmm. But um, one of these days I will, um, in one of these pieces, I will show you how to clean them. But for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and use my purples blending brush. And for storage, I just put them in a jar, guys. Just a mason jar, a small one. Nothing Ooh. too crazy, and they just fit right in. I probably need a little <laughs> bit shorter one because they kind of go down. Hi, Donna. Hey, Donna. Hey, Susie. So, again, on page 70 is our blender brushes. Okay. There we go. All right. So, tonight, we are using Art Gallery. I love this stamp set. And most of the time we've used it, we have used the gilded leafing, yes. but tonight we're going to use it in a, uh, in a little bit different way, is it's what I'm so trying to say. It's fun to use with gilded leafing. Since we are using our blender brush, like I said, this is a sponging series. Yeah, that one's pretty. That one is pretty. These masks are in our catalog. I don't know what page. Um, they're in the back of the catalog in the tools. And um, they're beautiful masks. Beautiful. I love them. But we are going to be using this one tonight and I'm going to show you how to do it. Now the one thing I did forget was to bring over a little washi tape. Um, there's some up in that Cupboard with the art thing. Nope. Yep. I know we have cupboards and it's sometimes hard to remember where everything's at. Okay. Now I'm going to grab a scrap of paper. And that's all you need. It's just a scrap. Um, and I should show you the card, right? You want to see the card that we're making. This is the card that we're making. It's a cute card. It really is. And I love these colors. And I know I said um, <laughs> to get a scrap of I need to do some cutting first. I kind of lost my train of thought there. Oh, okay. I got excited about the masks and everything. So <laughs> we need to cut our Whisper White down to three and three quarters by... Five. Okay. That 
that's pretty much my normal size of my white lately. Then I'm going to do a layer of black. And I'm going to cut this down to three and seven eighths. I'm just going to do an eighth of an inch just for a little pop of color. And then I'm going to go five and an eighth. Like I said, I just want a pop of color. I got really excited there and just totally forgot that I had to cut everything. So see, just gives us a nice little pop of color when it gets on there. Yeah, I really like it. I like the matte layer. Too. I do too, and I don't want it to be overwhelming. Okay, so then the next piece is our back, um, our card base, and that is cut at five and a half. Save that because I will need that for a scrap later. And then we're going to score this at four and a fourth. Okay, so now I have all my pieces cut. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, let's see, I do need another scrap of Whisper White. So I'll just go ahead and take this piece and just cut it down to about mm, a little bit less than three inches. And Alex just reminded me, I probably should do the inside of the card. So we're gonna cut this at um, four. Nope, I need to cut it this way. Five and a fourth by four inches. And the reason why I turned it and did it that way is so I could get two pieces out of it. If I would have done it the other way, I wouldn't have been able to get those two pieces. So, just so you know. Okay. So, let's see. I need that for the inside. And this is for the front. This is for the back. <laughs> I gotta get my pieces organized. Okay. And I'm leaving those with Alex. Mom says she can't wait to use her new brushes. <gasps> and I have to agree with her. Oh, did you get them? Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't see what you... Can't wait to see what you come up with. When did you guys get them? I don't even know. I have no idea. A, while, a little bit ago? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> oh man, they're so fun. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of washi tape. This is old washi tape that we used to have or used to carry. But it says dump it up. It does. And I'm gonna go ahead and just. Do you want me to zoom you in a little bit? Sure. I wanna put that down with that and then I'm gonna take my mask and again I'm going to use a little bit of washi tape to hold my mask in place while I'm going crazy just kidding these ones look like feathers or leaves yeah I love it it's just I love being able to um, do different she things. got them with her club order Ooh, I'm so excited okay so now we have our paper staying down and we have you can kind of measure it like this. <laughs> I know right and we have our mask laid down okay so I'm gonna use my Highland Heather ink pad okay Let's see, we gotta get you so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, because we do kind of have you small. All right, so I'm gonna put some ink on my sponge and I'm gonna dab some off, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and just start off the paper and gently go over it. Okay, so everything's held down, so we know where everything's at. Yeah, I'm gonna use a block because that's gonna bother me. So I tap off the excess ink onto a block or something so that um, I can pick it up again easily. If I, you know, cause you've got ink on that brush, so you're putting the excess ink off and that way you can use it. Now I can shut my pad and it won't bounce. 
so much. Okay, so I'm just tapping, as you can see, and then, you can't see this, I'm tapping it off. And see the ink that it picks up? So that's a good thing, because then you're not putting so much ink on your paper, because you just want to do a little bit at a time. You want to make sure you're covering your paper. Now this is hard because I do have a white background. So, and I did line the side up over here. So it's kind of hard to see if I'm getting it all the way on it or not. <laughs> okay, so again, you just want to rub off. And then, so now I'm gradually going lighter as I'm doing this. because I really don't want it all to be as dark as the beginning, okay? Let's lift that up and take a little peek. And that's the nice thing about the washi, is it, it's light. It doesn't hold anything um, and, and tear up everything. I don't know how well you can see it. I'm gonna hold it up. I kinda shouldn't have lined it up the way I did, I'm noticing, because if you notice, I have this line now. Yeah, but it's just that line. Okay, because on this one, if you notice, it's off, which I like a lot. But that's okay, we're gonna go with it. Um, and if you can see, how light I did it. So I barely picked up some over here. And if you notice on this one, I barely picked some up. I didn't go over as far and I kind of like that idea, but we're doing something kind of different tonight. So um, it's the same, but different, <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, so we're gonna zoom out just a touch Okay, because I am gonna um, stamp now. All right, so that's set aside. I hope you enjoyed that. That was a fun little technique to share with you. Um, I love all the masks. Now, for the mask to clean it, just go to your kitchen sink and run it under water and all that ink will rinse right off, okay? So you don't have to worry, but don't put your fingers on it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna bring in the mini boss and I'm gonna grab my plates. It's the mini boss. Because I do know I'm gonna need it. Mini and then I'll get busy stamping. Okay. Mini boss time. It needs its own little jingle. It does, I agree. Okay, so I have the ink here. I've got Highland Heather and Old Olive and I'm using this, um, image right here okay and so what I'm gonna do is okay so I didn't use the markers to ink this up because it takes a while sometimes so I just gently inked up what I needed to ink up with my pad um, now I can put a post-it note if I need to but this seemed to work out pretty good. I didn't really have a lot of issues the last time I did this. Okay. Just gonna ink up a little bit more right there. I don't know why it's not grabbing it. Okay, all right. All right, we got it. And then I took my old olive ink pad. Now I hope you guys saw what I was doing. I'm just taking my ink pad and just being slow and careful to get that all inked up. I could put a mask over part of it if I wanted to, but I don't want to. I just want to do it this way. And what I mean by putting a mask is um, I could take a piece of post-it note and put it over 
part of it and then stamp. I was like, where is the post-it note? <laughs> I know, but I don't need it. I'm just going to do it this way because I'm a rebel. Post-it note. <sighs> All right. Found so it. now <laughs> we're just going to stamp this image. And it's not going to be perfect. And I'm okay with that for this card. But it's going to look good. It's a lot darker than it was on the first card. Maybe that's that's interesting. All right. I like it. I like it. All right. So I'm going to grab the die. So let me show you real quick. These are the dies that come with this pair of pizzazz. I probably did use pear pizzazz, but you know my go-to is old olive. No. <laughs> I can't control it that. It is your go-to. <laughs> and it's a really pretty color. It is. All right. So I'm grabbing the die. And I've got a few things I'm going to cut right now. I really do like how you get two different tones of it. Like one came out darker than the other one. Would you mount Miss Me? Miss Miss You? I miss, miss Me? <laughs> I Miss You. <laughs> So how are y'all doing tonight? We are having some fun. We've had a busy day getting everything done. Okay. So I'm gonna try to line this up. This is where I might need a post-it note because I don't want it to move on me. I think we're gonna be okay though. Let me see if I can. Nope, it moved. All right, so I'm gonna grab a, well, I've got my washi tape here. I can use washi tape. So one of the things I want you to know when you do this with your die cutting machine, take this washi tape huh. and put it, I, you can't see that, put oh, it that. on your shirt a couple times Get some of that tack off of it. No, not on that. You don't want it so tacky. You want it to stick, but you want some of that tack off of it. Okay? All right. So now I'm going to put that washi tape down to hold it. If it's too tacky, it's going to tear your image, and you don't want that. You want to have a good image. All right. So here we go. I got that one done. Look at how nice that came out, guys. Oh, that came out really it nice. just really just popped right out. I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna move this for a second and I'm gonna bring in an ink pad because I need to stamp Miss You. Right? Yeah. I Miss You, something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can cut that out. And I'm going to stamp that in Highland Heather also. Okay, and I'm going to just stamp it down at the bottom of my white cardstock. I don't need a huge piece. All right. All right. Switcheroo here. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Those things stick. Mom is still driving home. And oh. she says it's super windy out. Man, it has been terrible here. Mm -hmm. But our windows aren't rattling anymore, at least. And the um, the, the door's not being blown about like it was. Okay, I think, what did I do with that washi? It's right here. I think I'm going to use that for this. I don't really want this to move either. And without a magnetic plate, it's really hard to not, you know, get these dies to stay place in place. So that's okay. Washi tape. Okay, there we go. Now I just need a little scrap of Highland Ether. Let me get you another. Sure, Smaller please. Piece. Thank you. Just a little one. Okay, so I took that apart. And I can put that back. The reason why I want a small piece of Highland Heather is I want to cut this die out. Boy, trying to find the camera is hard. 
<laughs> I keep missing it. Okay. So yeah, I just want to cut this little piece out and then I can put the miss you over the top of it. I think that's going to be really cute together. Okay. As we drop the paper to the floor, I'll tell you, Alex and I could do a com comedy routine sometimes, I think. <laughs> it got to the table eventually. Okay. So, yeah, just a little scrap. We're going to run it through. All right. There we go. I think that's all the die cutting I need to do. So now that it's... That is a really good use up for your scraps. It really is. I love it. So now all we need to do is just a little bit of assembly, okay? Something sticky over there. I bet it's Tombow I need to clean off. Mm. All right, here we go. Time to assemble all the pieces. You could put a little bit of that on the inside piece. You know, you could, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm gonna put this up on dimensionals, but first, before I do that, we need to zoom out just a tad, Alex. Thank you. I'm going to put this. I'm going to adhere this. Onto my black layer. The nice thing is using this liquid glue, if I need to wiggle this around a little bit, I can. That's true. It does give you a little bit of wiggle room when you're doing like eights. So that's nice. Okay, I'm gonna grab some dimensionals and we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this flower. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab my minis as well so I can do a couple more over here where it's tinier and then down on the leaf. Okay, so if you see, I've got dimensionals all over the back. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that down right about there. Now I'm gonna take the Miss You and put that on top of this in the center. And you can line it up really easily. It really does line up well. I love that. And I'm gonna put dimensionals just on the ends. I don't think we need them any more than that because we have the, um, the other uh, floral piece already on dimensionals, so. All right, here we go. We're going to add this right here. And then we are going to add this to the front of our card. I like how the darker the flowers, it picks up on the darker sponging and the lighter flower picks up on the lighter sponging. Yeah. That's true. Okay. Well, one thing we definitely know, when I did the other card, I was super light-handed. This one, you can tell I was a little heavy-handed. You have that piece of white in there. I know, it's driving me crazy. <laughs> okay, let me lay this down right. Okay. Well, it just dawned on me. Your mom said she was driving home from work. She got off late tonight. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, so we have that adhered to the front of our card. Okay. I like just the hint of black on it. I do too. It just gives it a little pop. Now comes the fun part. We are going to add some pastel pearls. Now I know these are on the not orderable list right now. But trust me, we will get more in. And when we do, if I was you, I would jump on these. They are gorgeous and they'll probably sell out again. They're absolutely gorgeous. And they come in so many. There's Rococo Rose. I 
think, right? I don't, Home so Pilgrim. it could be Blushing Bride. Mm, I think they're Seaside Spring. Up. It's very possible, but they, oh, let me see. That didn't do it justice, there you go. They're just absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, when they come back in, I would jump on them because um, they're bound to sell out again. They're just beautiful. Okay, so you can see on this card. Rococo Rose, Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, and Seaside Spray. Awesome. And I went with the Gorgeous Grape on this card to pop it a little bit. I did not use the Highland Heather on these. But I want you to see what I was saying. I was a little heavy handed on this one, which is fine. It's still beautiful. And I was lighter on this one. And that's the beauty of the sponging. You can do whatever you want with it. You can go a little darker, you could fill it in a little more, or you can go a little lighter and not fill it in as much. I love the ombre effect that it gives it. Exactly, exactly. All right, everyone, that's it for us tonight. Um, tune in next week. I will not be live. It will be a video, but we have another wonderful sponging technique for you, okay? And um, next week, 6 p.m. Yes, it will be a premiere. It's 